Let's take another example that uses the concept we've learned so far. In this example, I start push button to open a valve to start filling a tank with a liquid. Once the liquid inside the tank reaches a certain level, a level sensor turns on and the valve closes. And then a mixer starts mixing the liquid inside the tank. The mixer stays on until the stop push button is pressed. We are using a normally open contact for all inputs and outputs. Here's a list of the inputs and outputs of this example. So let's start programming. As soon as the start push button is pressed, the valve opens. However, it would be unreasonable to expect the operator to keep holding the start push button to keep the valve on. So to keep the valve open, we use a seal in instruction to keep the output on. And in the seal instruction, we use the same output address. Now the program works this way. As soon as the start push button is pressed, the valve opens and the output memory location is 1. And once the start push button is released, the seal instruction will keep the valve open. Now, once the liquid reaches the set point that is sensed by the level sensor, the valve closes. So again, once the level sensor input is on, the valve stops, a very similar to what we covered in the conveyor belt example. The sensor is an input and it's off until the liquid reaches a certain level. Then the sensor turns on. So I'm going to use the instruction here. And I need to choose an instruction that is highlighted when the memory location is zero to keep the continuity. So we are going to use an XIO instruction for the level sensor. Remember that the instruction is highlighted. The instruction is activated, but the physical sensor is not on. The level sensor has not reached the required level yet. Now the program works this way. Once the start push button is pressed, the start push button instruction is activated and the level sensor instruction is already highlighted because it's an XIO instruction. So the valve opens and it stays on. As soon as the liquid reaches the required level, the level sensor will turn on and the XIO instruction will not be highlighted anymore and the valve will close. Now once the level sensor is on, the mixer starts mixing. So I use an XIC instruction and a regular output for the mixer. Now as soon as the liquid reaches the desired level, the valve closes and the mixer starts. The last thing, the mixer stops when the stop push button is pressed. Remember that the stop push button is a normally closed contact. Because I want the mixer to stop once we press on the stop push button, I need to add the stop push button in this rank. And since it's a normally open relay, I'm going to use an examine if open instruction. So now, as soon as the stop push button is pressed, the instruction is not activated anymore and the mixer stops. So this is how the final program looks like for this specific example. Please note that this is not a complete practical solution. I just chose this example to show you how to build a ladder logic. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a yellow light for the valve and a green light for the mixer. And for the start push button, I'm going to use the first one, the second one for the stop, and the third one for the level sensor. Now we need to go online, download the program, and select burn mode. As soon as you hit the start push button, notice here that the valve opens using the yellow light, and as soon as you reach the level, the valve closes and the mixer start mixing. You can see the green light, and the mixer will stay on until you press on the stop push button.